In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the terrain line and how we can work with this line with the mesh tool in ARCHICAD. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, I explained working with the spline tool and polyline, which we're going to use these two tools to have a very nice terrain model in ARCHICAD. I just import a DWG file in ARCHICAD. As you see, it is selected as one object, which is the drawing tool. And if you would like to know how did I import the DWG file in ARCHICAD, click on the card right up here and watch the tutorial. If it was informative for you, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. To make a terrain, with different heights in ARCHICAD. First, I would like to translate this drawing to the polyline so I can work with the terrain lines. I'm gonna right click on the drawing, then I'm gonna click on the explode into current view. Then it's gonna ask that if you want to keep the original element, which is the drawing, and here we could select the layer that we want to use. I usually use um, the same settings. And then I'm going to hit OK. Then it's going to translate this drawing to the polyline. I'm going to move the drawing like this with the help of Control D. And here you see that we have terrain lines. If I click on this, you see that uh, all these lines are grouped together. And if you want to work with this line, which usually I don't change these lines, I don't ungroup them. But if you want, you can use the suspend groups, which is the Alt G on the keyboard. And you will see that I can click on each polyline separately. I'm going to turn off the suspend groups and I want to work as a, a group. Then I'm going to the Design tab, select the Mesh tool. I'm not going to change anything right now because I can do it after. Then I'm going to select the Rectangle method, and I draw a rectangle or square like this. For better result, it is better to not drawing the mesh at the corners or at the side of uh, the drawing because we want to be sure that this terrain line is passing the limits of the mesh. Before starting drawing these lines, I'm going to uh, select the mesh tool and I'm going to give a thickness. It doesn't matter. I just want to see it on the 3D view. So it needs a thickness. Then I'm going to click on the 3D view and we see a square or a rectangle of the mesh. As always, we can change the materials of the surface. I would also like to change the side of this mesh to the earth material like that. Then I go back to the uh, plan view. I'm going to select the mesh tool while we are selecting the mesh that we want to draw this line on. Then I'm going to start drawing this line by hold down the space key on the keyboard and use the magic man. I'm going to click once. I'm not going to change anything here because uh, the best result we could get is on the fit uh, to user ridges. Then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for other lines. So I'm going to just click and hit OK like this. As you see, I didn't change the original drawing, which the lines are different. As you see, the colors are different. Basically, they are different lines. If I uh, suspend this group, as you see, these are different parts. But when I use the magic band on these lines, uh, it will select all the lines. It doesn't disconnect the lines on this point. So we don't need to redraw all the train line to prepare for the mesh tool. I'm going to continue with these lines. There you go. 
I finish uh, drawing all the lines just by holding down the space key on the keyboard and clicking. I'm going to take a look in the 3D view. As you see, all these lines is now showing us on the uh, 3D view, but uh, these uh, points are on a flat surface. So I'm going to start to giving height to these ridges. I'm going to start with this point down here. It is a little bit complicated here. I'm going to start with this one. To read these ridges on a, a two-dimensional plan, we should just divide this uh, distance from 280 to 290 to the number of uh, the lines that we see. So from here to here, we have the difference of 10 and we have four lines. So each line is two units higher than uh, this line. So I believe it's going to be 280, 282, 284, 286, and uh, 288, and then we have 290. To do the heights on the uh, plan, uh, I should select this ridge like this. As you see, all the points on this ridge has been selected. I'm going to click once on one of these points. Then we have this option, which is the elevate. We have X and Y on the 2D plan, on the two-dimensional, and the Z, of course, is the height. So I'm going to give the height of 280 to this ridge. And it is necessary to check this box, apply to all. So uh, this height will be applied to all of these nodes. I'm going to hit OK. As you see, uh, the mesh has been changed to calculate these points. It's going to do a triangular calculation. So I'm going to do this height for these lines. And then we're going to take a look in the treaty. OK, I uh, applied the height to these uh, ridges. I'm going to take a look in the 3D view. And as you see, the train is getting shaped. I'm going to continue with this model and I, I will show you the result in a moment. Okay, I finished drawing all the terrain lines on the, this mesh. Now let's take a look in the treaty. As you see, we have a very nice train with not a harsh slope. I'm going to turn the material to a white color so we will see the ridges like this. I should just give the um, height to this point. I'm going to uh, select the mesh and I'm going to bring this point up to these lines. And it seems that uh, we have a very nice terrain. It's going to look like this. For some people, uh, seeing these triangles might be annoying a little bit. We can remove it by changing the triangular calculation of the mesh. I'm going to select the mesh. Then to model the ridges, we have uh, three options. All ridges sharp, which is this method. Then we have a user defined sharp. If I click on this, it will be sharp only on the ridges. 
and a knot uh, on this surface between the ridges. Uh, so we're going to have a result like uh, this. As you see, we still can see some sharp points on the ridges. And uh, the last option is the smooth. I'm going to select the mesh, then I'm going to put all ridges smooth, and then we're going to have a very smooth shape for the mesh. It depends on how do you prefer working with the mesh. I usually use the smooth method because uh, it's going to give a better result. As always, in ArcCAD, we could change the colors of these ridges or uh, the lines as we always could change the settings on the floor plan. We could change the uh, cut surface line type. The outlines is green, as you see here. Also on the plan, if I turn back to the plan, uh, you see that we, we still have these ridges, but we cannot see it because I uh, set the ridge to a white color. If I turn it to something gray, we can see the ridges as gray. The last option that uh, I would like to mention in this tutorial is we have three types of uh, structure for the mesh. We could have only the surface of the mesh and not have the sides like this. So we could see only a uh, surface. As you see, I have another line. So I uh, turn back to the two dimensional view. Then I'm going to select these ones. And this one is 352. This one is uh, 354. Another option is just to have the sides and not the bottom like this. The bottom is um, open. I don't know where we can use this type, but I always put it on the uh, closed bottom like this. It seems more logical to me. And on the setting dialog, we have the, the same settings here. Uh, we could set a um, thickness for the mesh. We have these uh, three types of uh, structure. We could set the home story. Uh, we could uh, set that in which level or which story do we want to see this terrain. Then we have uh, cut surfaces. As always, we could set the uh, outlines. Now I select to have uh, a solid line, a green solid line, and uh, for the ridge pan, a gray. Then we could have a cover field like this. And uh, as a default, it's set to the grass cover field. If you want to make another uh, cover field, you can click on the card right up here and watch the tutorial. I uh, explain it very well, how you can create your own field. Then we could select the surface of the mesh. And for the 3D appearance, I prefer to put it on the smooth, as I explained. This sharp one, we will see all the triangles. And the best result is on the smooth. So this is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you learned something new. And if this is the first time that you're watching my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, there will be many more uh, tutorials in ArchiCAD and other applications that benefits the architects. Also, if uh, you have some question uh, about working with the mesh tool, please write it down on the comments. I'm going to read all of your questions and answer them immediately. So have a nice day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.